the National Constitution Center in Philadelphia, the birthplace of America, is now home to another historic first. Last night, Hillary Clinton became the first woman ever chosen by a major party to be their presidential nominee. Democratic convention delegates ratified the historic nomination. Many Bernie Sanders supporters greeted the outcome by leaving the convention. President Obama will speak tonight in support of Hillary Clinton. So will Vice President Joe Biden and Clinton's running mate, Senator Tim Kaine. Last night, former President Bill Clinton told a very personal story of the nominee as a wife, a mom, and a leader. Nancy Cordes is high above the convention floor at Wells Fargo Center. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. You know, there are a lot of politicians on this stage this week who are vouching for Hillary Clinton, the candidate. But President Clinton seemed more focused on painting a picture of the kind of woman she is, a woman whose image, he argued, has been distorted by decades of GOP attacks. I married my best friend. The former president told the story of their courtship, parenthood, and the strengths his wife brought to their marriage. Well, she's insatiably curious. She's a natural leader. She's a good organizer. And she's the best darn change maker I ever met in my entire life. He said Republicans were trying to turn his wife into a cartoon villain. One is real. The other is made up. Good for you. Because earlier today, you nominated the real one. 27 votes for the first woman president. Earlier in the night, delegates cast their ballots state by state. Oregon, feeling the burn, cast 38 votes for Senator Bernie Sanders. Vermont superdelegate Bernie Sanders announced that Clinton had gone over the top. I move that Hillary Clinton be selected as the nominee of the Democratic Party. It was a gesture of unity, but several hundred Sanders supporters walked out anyway. Walk out! Walk out! This is not democracy. And this is what Bernie was trying to fix. Inside, the program continued. It's time to stand together and be unified. You people have made history. Images of the nation's first 44 presidents, all of them male, were projected above the stage. A glass ceiling shattered, revealing Hillary Clinton in a surprise satellite appearance. I may become the first woman president, but one of you is next. Thank the you historic all. moment moved Jamie and Smith to tears. It just shows that hard work actually pays off, you know? It's like, it's not just about how much how you look like or, you know, what kind of man you have on your arm. You actually can do things and actually be recognized for it. She and many others were quick to acknowledge that the real glass ceiling is the presidency itself and that they've got a lot of work to do to help Hillary Clinton shatter it come November, Nora. All right, Nancy, thank you so much.